the guy that's standing by me is no stranger to grace. In fact, the longer we go, the more like family we are to these people down in South Africa. Trevor uh, pastors Norwegian Settlers Church uh, down in KwaZulu Natal. KwaZulu Natal. Uh, Natal, I'll never get it. Uh, <laughs> In beautiful place down in, in uh, South Africa, right on the East Coast. Uh, the thing that's so unusual about this is you were a youth pastor, and you went out. Uh, this is just kind of a little rural nowhere area, and you took on this church, this, this Norwegian settlers church. I mean, this is a little bitty, it was a little bitty building with a bunch of old people right? Basically, right? Mm, pretty and you're, much. And you're a youth pastor. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. But but what is what is so amazing is I mean, you challenge these people to tackle the overwhelming need that mm. was just circling mm. this place. And when when we talk about poverty and when we talk about needs here, it just is not the same. Mm -mm. It's not the same thing. Yeah. I mean, you guys deal with tribalism and, I mean, uh, ancestral worship. I mean, there's just mm. such, such darkness. So how close to your building? I mean, this is, this is within... Within walking distance, Ron. Yeah. Just uh, our church is positioned in a unique situation between the haves and the have-nots, between the wealth of the, the coastal line with all the beautiful holiday homes and the affluence that goes with that. And just a couple of kilometers inland, we have this abject poverty. Uh, thousands of families just living in, in shanties and corrugated iron homes with cardboard and, and plastic. Uh, thousands and thousands of families living like that. And our church is situated right between the two. And I mean, the guys that'll sit around, the, the men of those communities will sit around all day and drink while the women work and yeah, the, the culture is, is, a, is a big business. challenge to us. Um, it might be a little overgeneralized, but, uh, but the, the women of Africa are just the most amazing people. They work incredibly hard. Um, sometimes the men could do a little bit more to help, but uh, that's the nature of the culture that we're, we're up against, Ron. So Trevor takes this little band of people, and he challenges the tar out of them because uh, <laughs> God had touched your life. I mean, it, it, uh, there's always been this thing in you, even as a child, you said that, you know, fighting for the underdog, but suddenly the Lord touches yeah. you and yeah. it's a whole different deal. And so you, you challenge these people that we've got to do something. Mm -hmm. we've, we have got mm -hmm. to do something. And I want to tell you guys, this church <clears throat> is, it is an enigma to Africa. It, it just is. It doesn't make sense. Because you've got a church. They're building a building the size of ours. Right now, a roof, the roof's going up. We saw it when we were there. It's beautiful, beautiful. going to be a gorgeous structure. And the people are already there. I mean, it, this is a, a large church out there in the middle of this area. On the back wall, your, your, your mirror, mural says what? You're now entering your mission field as you walk out the door. <laughs> So uh, this entire church, I'm not kidding you guys, is outward focused in a way that just blows my mind. And, and it's, it's a God thing. Everybody mm -hmm. recognizes it. It is a God thing. But Trevor is, is, is really the visionary for this. And uh, I mean, you just continue. Every time I go over, my compassion quotient gets knocked up a couple of <laughs> bars. It just... It, it just it's so heartwarming to see what God has done through a group of people who will just say, Lord, use us mm. uh, to make a difference. So, I mean, we could talk all day about just the various things, that ministries that they've picked up. Every time Trevor goes on a vacation, he ends up with a new ministry. Uh, <laughs> literally, literally, uh, in some of these areas. But uh, one of the things just recently you've done is, is taken babies. Yeah, Ron, we, we're starting a, a home for abandoned babies. In our area, teenage pregnancy is just right through the roof. You've got 13, 14 year old young girls giving birth to children and not knowing what to do with them. So sadly, many are in their panic of what do you do with a baby when you're 13 years old? You, they either get dumped or they get put on the steps of a, of a police station or something like that. And so 
there's an incredible need just to, to help these kids to take the babies in and hopefully actually to reconnect the baby maybe with the mother, help her, coach her in how to raise a child. But many of these kids have got nowhere to go. They just mm. uh, have nowhere to go. Wow. And so we, we're opening a home at present just to be able to cater for these children and bring them in for a three-month period, just do the medical checks. These are all newborns. And then hopefully in the course of three months, get them out into some good adoptive families. And that's just, that's just one thing. I mean, we were sitting back in the back just between services, and I'm continuously learning from this guy of, you know, how we can make a difference and how we can not make a difference mm-hmm. <laughs> by doing good-sounding, foolish things. And, uh, and uh, we just we think this is a God deal that brought us together with you, man, mm-hmm. to be able to partner yeah, with you. Yeah. And, and uh, we're so encouraged by that.